I'll be showing how to create circuit puzzles. Begin by creating a new entity and changing its class to info HLVR toner port. Align the port to your wall. Open its properties and give it a name so we can target it later. Enable both start visible and start port visible. Set the desired orientation to match where you want the path to go from the port. 0 degrees is upwards, 90 degrees is right, and so on. Note that this is also affected by the rotation of the port itself. Set the initial orientation to be 90 degrees less than the desired orientation. Create a new entity and change its class to info HLVR toner path node. Give it a name. It should say the name of the circuit, which segment of the circuit it is, and what node it is. For example, I've used demo path1 one, node1. One. In the viewport, it will have a small blue line that indicates how far into the wall the circuit will be. Rotate the node so that the line points into the wall. Hold shift and move the node to create the next node in the path. Repeat this to create the rest of your path. To make a junction, create a new entity and change its class to info HLVR toner junction. This will also need a name. You can change the type of junction with the topology drop down menu. Create a new path node on the other side of the junction. Give this node a name like demo path2 node1 and continue building your circuit. Once you've built the layout of your circuit, create a new entity and change its class to info HLVR toner path. Create a copy of this entity for each segment of your circuit. Open the object properties of the first toner path and give it a name. Set first path node to the name of your first node, in this case demo path1 node1. Set start to the name of your toner port. And set end to the name of your first junction. Go to the next toner path entity and give this one a name too. Set first path node to the name of the first node in this section. Set start to the name of the first junction and set end to the name of the next junction. Do this for all the other segments of your circuit. For the final segment, you can leave end blank. Open the properties of the first junction. There are four key values beginning with connected path entity. These should point to the toner path entity of the connected segments. So in this example, my first segment comes in from the left, so we should put the name of the first toner path in the field labelled left. The second segment connects to the bottom, so we put the name of the second segment in the bottom field. Do this for each of your junctions. To finish the circuit, go to the final segment's toner path, open its properties and go to outputs. Add a new output and set it to on power on, the name of your toner port, set complete. This locks the circuit and its junctions so that the player can no longer change them. Add another output for whatever you want the circuit to activate. In this example, I've used a point sound event. I recommend using an audio prompt, sparks or a cable to show to the player what they've just activated. Now you know how to use the toner entities.